Rarely has a new way of teaching reached around the world touching the lives of over one million families. From the first show, I Felt Your Baby Can Read could truly change the future of learning. I had a chance to sit down with an amazing man, Dr. John Aller, who holds a Hawthorne Regents Endowed Professorship at the University of Louisiana. I've written 230, 240 uh, published papers, peer-reviewed stuff on language, language acquisition, language testing, language measurement. I'm kind of a measurement guy. I've been interested in the history of education and a wide variety of applications of uh, of theoretical concepts from linguistics and, and semiotics, the theory of signs and sign systems. I don't think I know of a development in education or in uh, instructional uh, process, procedure, methodology that is more important than what Bob Titzer has demonstrated with Your Baby Can Read. The program works because it's theoretically sound and because babies really can learn to read. Titzer's idea of taking advantage of that, that early uh, brain growth, it's phenomenal. When we watch these little guys with the books, they prefer books over the other toys hands down. Kids who are exposed to early literacy, even who haven't had the year can read, often will prefer the book and will sit with it and turn pages for hours looking at the pictures and studying the words, the print. So why wouldn't we want to do it at the earlier age when the child has the, the advantage and the benefit of all this rapid growth and the capacity to absorb things at an astonishingly fast and efficient rate. I think almost every kid who had a home life of any sort would say that their greatest teacher was, was their parent, mom or dad who cared about them. It's a reason that would motivate me as a parent, as a grandparent, to want it for my children and for my grandchildren. And I think that most parents are gonna say yes, that's a good reason to have your baby can read. And I think that every parent who makes the effort will be rewarded. I, you know, we can't guarantee success in every case. Some people will make a half-hearted effort. But if you make a genuine effort, you'll get a genuine result. As a grandparent, I want it for my grandkids. As a person who's dedicated his life to the study of language and language acquisition, literacy, and all things related to it, to the study of ideas, things you can't put a price tag on, I want it for future generations.